channel in this video we are doing a get ready with me date night edition because today is Thursday and that means date night so whilst I'm doing my makeup I'm going to go through like why we do date night and what it is that we do but first of all let me show you what I'm wearing we're only gone for like an hour and a half we're not going anywhere fancy schnancy so and I'm like a jeans and hoodie kind of girl so don't be expecting anything glamorous because it is definitely not going to so be so I'm wearing my favorite hoodie that I have got right now and this hoodie which is in the color lilac and it is the silly goose club hoodie which was from Shein I know controversial but it is my favorite hoodie and then underneath I've just got this t-shirt it says mental health matters it's the one that was on the top of the pile of t-shirts I just grabbed that one it's one I printed myself but we are not going to get into that in this video these jeans are the new look high-waisted halley jeans they are my favorite jeans and I only get the halley jeans now and the crazy thing is I used to buy like the top shop Joni jeans which were like what 40 45 quid and these jeans I think might be like 30, 35, so a little bit cheaper, but I've got a few pairs of the Halley jeans. I only wear these ones for like occasions. So like if I'm going out for lunch, I'm going out for dinner, I'm doing something a bit more like not casual, if you know what I mean. I've got jeans for different things, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. This belt is from Shein. It's old, it's tatty. We don't need to really talk that much about it. And then the trainer socks, these are probably just plain black trainer socks from New Look. I only wear black trainer socks. I'm very boring when it comes to socks. And then the trainers will just be these white New Look trainers. Basically all I ever wear is New Look trainers. I do actually have a pair of white Nike Air Forces, but other than that, every other like shoe wear I get is from New Look. I love New Look. I'm not really like into heels, but if I do need to wear them for like a wedding or something, then I get the New Look wide fit because I have like duck feet. They're like wide at the front, not webbed. <laughs> Gosh, not webbed. And then as for jewelry, I'm not a big jewelry wearer. Like I've got my ears pierced, but I don't wear earrings. I have like my belly button pierced, my tongue pierced and my septum pierced. But other than that, that's kind of it. The necklace is the letter J for James, which is my partner. And it is going quite rusty. You can probably see that on the heart. It's quite rusty. I don't wear bracelets. I've got very skinny wrists. I've never really been able to find like bracelets that actually fit me. As for rings, I don't really wear any. I do have some from the company Calm Collective. So they're the ones where you can spin them and it's kind of for anxiety or nail biting. I've actually stopped biting my nails now, but not because of the rings. So I kind of have just rings sat there not doing anything, but that is it. So now I'm gonna drop you back down and let's get back to doing the makeup and talking about day nine. So now for the makeup, I've got all of my makeup in this bag and I'm a bit of a weirdo. I like to lay all of my makeup out in front of me on the floor in a line and like in order of when I'm gonna use them. Does that make sense? So primer at the beginning, lip gloss at the end. That's probably strange, isn't it? Yeah. It probably is. So I'm going to start by just tying my hair up out of the way and then I'm going to go in with the primer. So I'm actually going to do this portion of the video as a voiceover because I cannot multitask. I'd actually already filmed this video and it was like half an hour long, but I literally got to this point, like what I'm doing now, and I'd already explained date night and I had the rest of my makeup to do. So I took my makeup off, started again, and then it was just stop, start, stop, start, because I can't do more than one thing at the same time. So we're going to do this as a voiceover. Me and James moved here on the 2nd of March and we're in a little village that has a shop. So if you run out of the essentials like bread, bin bags, you can just go there and grab them. They've got sweets I haven't seen since I was a kid. I'm talking candy sticks. I'm talking jawbreakers, like all the things you haven't seen since you were a kid. And there is a post office. So when I get my small business back up and running, I can take the parcels there. I don't have to go to the nearest town. It's like a five minute walk maximum. There's a wreck. So a big field with a park, several slides zip wire. James actually filmed me having the best six minutes of my life because I am a child at heart 
And then there is a pub which has a proper community feel to it. The food is delicious. But on a Thursday, instead of doing their normal evening dinner food, they actually have pop-up trucks instead. So businesses. And they will bring their little pop-up trucks to the car park. So you could go to the pub, have a drink, and then go outside, grab the food, either eat it in the pub or take it home. Some people don't even go to the pub and have a drink first. They just leave their home, go to the truck, get their food, go home. Like a takeaway sort of thing. Me and James decided that Thursdays could be date night because that would be super cool. We'd have different food every week. One week it might be Greek food like gyros. The next week it could be burgers. The next week it could be pizza. Sometimes every now and again they have different ones, just random out of the blue. So there was a week where it was roast dinner in Yorkshire pudding wraps. So me and James thought Thursday would be a great day to do date night because it's different food every week and it gets us out of the home. I work from home on Thursdays, so I'm usually finished at five o'clock. I'll just start getting ready, even if James isn't home yet. James works in construction, so some days he finishes work early and he's home by lunchtime, but on a normal day, he'd be home by five, half five, the same as me, pretty much. I'm a jeans and hoodie kind of girl. As you can see in this video, I'm not dresses, skirts, heels, like I'm just not into that. So I'll shove on a hoodie and jeans and I'll put my makeup like I'm doing now. I'll put my hair back like I'm doing now. And then we'll just walk to the pub. We'll have a couple drinks. I just have a soft drink so I don't like alcohol. James will have a couple of beers and we just talk about our work that day and anything that we feel was important that we need to talk about. We'll have a laugh. Then we'll go out to the truck, have then we'll go outside to the truck, grab the food, and then we will take it home like a takeaway. We'll eat the food at home and then watch a movie on Netflix. We, he doesn't play his Xbox. I don't go on my laptop. It's literally just our quality time together. So drink at the pub, food, eat it at home and watch a movie. That is literally date night for us. And wow, I actually managed to finish that early, but I think I've done that in time because I'm taking my hair out now. So <laughs> that is the end of the voiceover. Let's get back to the rest of the video then, shall we? Okay, so now that my makeup is done, I just need to do my hair and then I'm literally ready to go. All I do is just pop my hair back into a claw clip and then I will curl the front pieces to frame my face. My hair has grown out massively. It hasn't been done for probably like six months to a year because as much as I love my hairdresser her prices have increased and it cost me like 176 pounds to get my hair cut and dyed which I am actually doing this month which is May in case you're wondering what month I am filming this it is May and my dad and his fiance get married on the 1st of June so I think it's like the 21st of May that I'm getting my hair done so basically like a couple weeks before the wedding so I'm gonna plug in my curler, set that to 180 degrees. And then whilst that is heating up, I can sort out the rest of my hair. This is actually how I do my hair when I'm putting it back into a claw clip. I don't know if everybody does this, but I just did this because I saw it on Instagram and it worked when I had shorter hair and I just always do it even if my hair's longer like it is now. So what I do is I take out the pieces that I want to keep at the front, the ones that I'm going to curl, and then I will tie them to the front of my face because that way they're out of the way. And then I kind of separate the rest of the hair in half and brush this back right let's turn so that you can hopefully see what i'm doing so i will tie this into a bun at the back of my head and then i will get the rest of the hair and tie that up into a bun as well and i grab my claw clip kind of push them together Now I just need to curl these pieces. And then the other side. And that's me ready for date night. Thank you for watching the Get Ready With Me date night edition. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.